little tiny, tiny caterpillar jumping. Day three, and we have one little climber, and the rest are all sort of lying down, and they've got all this silk around them. We've got a lot of movement today. Look at them. Look how big my little caterpillar is. Heading for the roof. Day six. And as you can see, they are really getting big now. Huge caterpillars. And they keep sort of climbing to the top and then coming back down again. It's that practice. Day eight. Look at all the waste material in there and the size of those caterpillars. They are giant. Look how big these are now. They are huge. And they're all really still because I'm moving them. Look at the caterpillars. They are getting ready. And see the guy at the back? So excited. So, we now have five little chrysalids hanging from the ceiling. And it's time. To, they've been there for three days, so it's time to transfer them into the little chrysalid holder. Day 22, and all of our caterpillars have been hanging there for actually four days. So they've hardened up and we can move them now. Moving the chrysalids is really scary, but what we have to do is put them into there and then into the butterfly garden. That was scary. Uh, I've moved them and one of them seems... Uh, Very excited very excitable calm little guy i don't think you're ready oh no i really hope you didn't it was actually quite early. hard to push the lid into the chrysalis station the little hole could be bigger and the apart should be easier it yeah. should be twist off do you think it's going to settle it it, 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 i'm sure it will eventually i mean maybe i don't know Right, we are moving, moving the caterpillars to their final position. And that excitable one is still very excitable. Hopefully it calms down. <laughs> so apparently a little shaky fella is because it's a natural instinct in case they feel threatened to ward off predators but it is a bit unnerving i've turned it around a little so he's not touching the floor hopefully he'll calm down day 26 and we've got our first butterfly it's just hatched so day 26 we had one butterfly that hatched uh, and today we're on four, we just have one left. Look at that. One, two, three, four. And they've got some uh, sugar water down there in a little uh, lid of a, a bottle. And that red there is just some sort of juice that comes out when they hatch. It's not anything you should worry about. Right, so only four of our butterflies have hatched, but a couple of them have been waiting quite a while now. And I think it's probably time to let them out, because uh, three of them at least seem very keen to leave. So we're going to open the roof. Okay. Uh, 
Look how gorgeous she is. She give me a little sniff. I mean, she may not be ready. I think she probably is. Just see if she wants to fly. Do you want to fly? If she seems keen, then that's great. But if not, <laughs> is she gonna go? Oh my gosh! Preparing your wings, flop them. She is. <laughs> fly, little butterfly, fly. Don't hold it too close. No, I can't see it when it's too close. Oh, butterflies are not quite so keen to run away as we expected. Oh! What off you go. Oh, that one's gone. Oh, there's one there. And another one has gone. The other one's gone. So our last butterfly has hatched. It hatched last night. After the excitement of seeing all its uh, brothers and sisters released. So now it's time to go. Hey little one. Home. Uh, it's time to leave buddy. Is it going to get on your hand? I don't know. Oh, nice. Smart thinking, Batman. Look at you. Aren't they gorgeous? He's a beautiful little guy. Or gal. If you look closely, I know it's a bit gross, but you can see that the bit that attaches the uh, cocoon to the lid is actually made of the skin of the caterpillar. How lovely is that? Right, goodbye to our lady, and we will see you. Well, maybe, no, we probably won't actually. Uh, fair winds.